What is carbohydrate and why does it matter? We commonly know carbohydrates as sugar or starch. Carbohydrates are essential nutrients that our body requires to function. It is broken down to be used as our body's main source of energy. Carbohydrates are organic molecules that are made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. In most of the carbohydrates, it is formed by about two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atoms, the same ratio as to the 2 to 1 ratio of water molecules. The molecule has a carbon atom that is combined with two hydrogen and one oxygen that forms water molecules. That's where it gets its name, hydrate. And together they are named as carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are important molecules and they are broken down to provide adequate amount of energy necessary for our daily life. Whereas for the undigested carbohydrates, it can help to maintain the normal function and health of our digestive tract. Carbohydrates are categorized into monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. For monosaccharides, it is also known as simple sugar. Mono is one, saccharides is sugar. Monosaccharides commonly consist of molecules of 3 carbons, which is called triose, 4 carbons, tetrose, 5 carbons, which is pentose, or 6 carbons, which is hexose. The most important monosaccharides to human are the 5 carbons and 6 carbon sugars. Glucose, fructose, and galactose are the common 6 carbon sugars. They are isomers which these molecules have the same number and types of atoms, but each of their three-dimensional arrangement are different than the other. One of the monosaccharides, which is glucose, is also known as blood sugar, the sugar in our blood. Glucose or blood sugar is the major carbohydrates in our blood and the major nutrients for most cells of our body. Our blood glucose levels are tightly regulated by insulin and other hormones in our body. It is important that our blood glucose levels are constantly in an adequate level to prevent the potential damaging effects. Fructose and galactose are also important dietary nutrients in our daily intake. Whereas the 5 carbon sugars such as ribose and deoxyribose form the components of ribonucleic acid which is RNA and deoxyribonucleic acid which is DNA. These components are in part of our genes. For disaccharides, they are composed of two monosaccharides that are bound together through a dehydration reaction. Such as fructose and glucose are combined or bound together through a dehydration reaction to form a disaccharide called sucrose, which is also known as our table sugar and plus a molecule of water. Other than that, lactose, which is the combination of glucose and galactose, is also known as milk sugar. While maltose is the combination of two glucose molecules bound together and it is also known as malt sugar. 
Both of these molecules are important as our daily nutrients, which they can be broken down to monosaccharides to be used as energy. For polysaccharides, they are the long chains of monosaccharides. These chain molecules can be either in straight or branch form. They are the complex sugars. There are many other polysaccharides in our body, but the common molecules are glycogen, starch, and cellulose. Glycogen is also known as animal starch. It is formed of many glucose molecules which makes it a multi-branch polysaccharide. Glycogen is the important energy storage molecules and it is the main storage of glucose in humans. The glucose can be metabolized rapidly and provide essential energy to be used by the body cells. The excess glucose during metabolism is stored as glycogen in the liver cells or skeletal muscle cells. The other important polysaccharides such as starch and cellulose are found in plants. Both starch and cellulose are form of long chains of glucose. It is the energy storage molecules in plants. For starch molecules, when we consume and ingest plants such as fruits or vegetables, the starch in the food can be broken down and be used as an energy source. Cellulose is an important structural component of cell walls in plants. When we consume and ingest plants, our body do not have the necessary digestive enzymes to properly break down cellulose. However, cellulose is important in maintaining our normal digestive functions by assisting the digestive system as fiber. It forms bulk in feces for excretion of waste products in our body. This is why it is important for us to have the adequate amount of carbohydrate intakes in our daily diets. <music>